Hiraki Chisato is on a totally different page than Kujo Kamiji. Ayato, why did you give her such vague suggestions? Couldn't you just have told her what you'd do in her position? Cause Paimon's pretty sure you have an idea. I've said everything I can, given the Yashiro Commission's stance. Interfering too much with other commissions' domestic issues will only create trouble. And the more I think about it, the stranger this all seems. But Hiragi Chisato has yet to see it. We must be vigilant. Strange? In what way? Someone wants Hiragi Chisato to be married as soon as possible, and if my guess is right, it is someone from within the Kanjo Commission. This person is presumably also responsible for the mysterious and misleading letter. Think about this. A lowly officer is greatly worried about Hiragi Chisato's future, while the heads of the supporting clans ostensibly have no concern at all. It doesn't add up. When someone's words and actions do not match, you need to infer their intentions from their behavior. Yes, it's a smart strategy. Far superior to the one adopted by the Tenryo Commission's Takatsukasa clan. Even had the forged letter failed and been seen for what it was, there would have been no repercussions. They could simply have explained it away as a misguided but well-meaning matchmaking attempt by a member of the family. But if the letter were to achieve its goal as it has so far, the perpetrator would successfully weaken the Hiragi clan without ever having to lift a finger against them, all under the guise of simply encouraging a wedding. With Hiragi Chisato having married into the Kujo clan and the head of the Hiragi clan in prison, challenges to the Hiragi clan's leadership would begin to emerge throughout the ranks of the Kanjo Commission. Eventually, another clan would take the Hiragi clan's place. Actually, we have evidence. His name is Shinojo. Shinojo? Hmm. He should be back by now. Yes, sir. Paimon cannot deal with this. Did they take one of the Kanjo Commission officers away? Yes. His name is Shinojo. As I expected. They cannot afford to let this opportunity pass them by. They have to act now while the Hiragi clan is at its weakest. Hiragi Chisato had been persuaded by Kujo Kamaji, and the wedding was sure to go ahead. But, after Chisato's meeting with Shinojo, she began to have second thoughts. In their eyes, Officer Shinojo has interfered with their plan. But why did they suspect him and not us? Someone was eavesdropping on our conversation with Chisato the entire time. That's why I was a little reserved. <gasps> no way! Whew. Lucky Paimon didn't say anything stupid! <sighs> but Chisato got what you meant about the letter though, right? I think so. But whoever is behind this will not allow their plan to fail now. They will not be inclined to respect Hiragi Chisato's own wishes. Her stance was so passive that she was easily manipulated, treated like a pawn with even her marriage becoming a battleground for political power play. Despite all of this, she still believed that a happy future was awaiting her. When she formally marries into the Kujo clan, she will lose her title as daughter of the Hiragi clan, her position in the Kanjo Commission, and above all, her independence. Huh. Marriage is such a trap. Easier said than done. The perpetrators are manipulating everything from the shadows, letting unsuspecting pawns do their work. This is what makes their approach so smart. We, meanwhile, are out in the open. If we attempt to stop this wedding from happening, we will become the villains of the story and face immense public backlash. At this stage, if the perpetrators wish to maintain control over the situation, their only option is to come out from the shadows and bare their fangs. I will wait for that moment to arrive. But first things first, we must go and rescue Shinojo. He has done nothing wrong and does not deserve to be punished. Tell me where Shinojo is. We'll head off right now.
this at once. It's the Yashiro Commissioner. <sighs> well, we take orders from our master. No one else. Really? Then please, excuse me. Battle formation! Get them! Gather! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ring cutter! Be still. Withdraw. The depth of the Withdraw. I must withdraw. Blast. Let's go! We must report to Master right away! Hey! Get back here! No need to follow them. We need bait to catch the fish anyway. Leave them be. I think I saw a key fall to the ground during the fight. Let's free Shinojo first. Mm, but... In all the chaos, it must have been kicked to one side. Hmm... Where did it end up? What the? It's a tanuki? Oh, do tell Paimon that the tanuki took it! Let's follow it and see. Thank you. Thank you. It was terrifying. They said they were gonna throw the cage into the sea with me still inside. Oh, wait! You have to listen to me. Lady Chisato's wedding. They... It's all part of a scheme. Someone's trying to use the wedding for their own ends. Calm down, Shinojo. It's okay. We know about all that. Huh? Our suspicions were roused to this possibility. And so far, everything is unfolding rather as we expected. Those behind this plan are not going to give up easily. Their next move is imminent. We must devise sufficient countermeasures. Yashiro Commissioner, you're personally going to take action? This situation has consequences for the whole Tri-Commission, and the stability of all Inazuma is at stake. My hitherto neutral stance ends now. <sighs> the Almighty Shogun has always despised these pathetic power games. As a commissioner, I am a servant of the Shogun, and it is therefore my duty to handle these tiresome matters on her behalf. Hmm, that's true. Shinojo, don't return to your post yet. Find somewhere safe and stay hidden. Traveler, Paimon, let's get out of here. Well, if it isn't the Yashiro Commissioner. I hear you showed up here with no explanation and attacked my men. You wouldn't happen to be carrying out some sort of secret mission, now would you? I heard that someone was taking the law into their own hands. As a responsible official of Inazuma, I could not in good conscience stand idly by. Shinojo may be your retainer. But the law does not grant you the right to abuse him. Abuse? Nonsense. I was just teaching him a lesson. Out of nowhere, a low-ranking officer decides to barge in on Lady Haragi and starts spouting out the most absurd and insulting nonsense one can imagine. 
A truly egregious loss of decorum. I dare say, the poor lady was terrified. So, you're saying that you know absolutely nothing of the reasons for his actions? Because otherwise, why would you describe it as out of nowhere? Two people from two different clans are getting married. That's all there is to it. And yet this young gentleman took it upon himself to fabricate a nonsensical disaster story around it. How should I know what he was thinking? Even if she marries into the Kujo clan, Lady Hiragi will always be the daughter of the Hiragi clan and the most distinguished member of the Konjo Commission. We are, and always will be, her loyal assistants. It's our duty to see that she never has to worry about anything. Loyalty and duty are our guiding principles. Not only did this guard show no regard for either, he went out of his way to upset our lady. How could one do such a thing? Even if we put it down to a rare moment of impulsivity. I have to say, I'm surprised to see one of such noble standing as yourself rushing to his defense. Darn it! This guy is good. Annoyingly good. Funny. I'm suddenly reminded of an anecdote I'd like to share with you. There's not been a dull moment since I took up my post in the Yashiro Commission. Every day I've been exposed to new and fascinating things. For instance, a merchant from abroad once told me about a curious kind of bird with the most extraordinarily long tongue. So long, in fact, that you can tie two knots in the portion of it that extends out of its beak. I'm sure someone as erudite as yourself could be able to guess what people do with these unusual avians. Uh, keep them as pets. <laughs> You'd think, wouldn't you? Mm, but there's a catch. You see, this bird is of no use to humans whatsoever, and certainly doesn't make a suitable pet. If you catch one, the best thing you can do is actually cut its tongue off and throw it out of the window. The reason they give is this. The longest tongue has the most to say, but don't be deceived as it chirps away, lest the song it sings lead you astray. You... I say, Yashiro Commissioner, are you here simply to mock the Konjo Commission? Far from it. In my mind, the Kanjo Commission is made up of honorable individuals, upright and forthright, conscientious and loyal. It is unbecoming of such people to resort to lies, deception, and filibustering, all as part of a plan to remove Lady Hiragi from her position in the Kanjo Commission. Yashiro Commissioner, please don't make accusations without any evidence. The evidence is standing right in front of me, is it not? I have a credible witness who can confirm you were quick to try and make him disappear as soon as he said something that you did not like. Ugh. Dear me, I can't believe the Grand Matsura clan is now represented by someone with less of a sense of loyalty than even an ordinary servant. You studied hard and took a government position, only to make it to where you are now just to play these petty power games behind the scenes. I'm not sure whether it's because you're smart enough to play the system, or too foolish to know any better. In your years of service to the Shogun, not only have you managed to glean nothing good from the people around you, you have also let yourself be blinded by self-interest. And now you have ruined your once bright future. I'm not angry, Mr. Matsura. I just feel sorry for you. <laughs> Is that right? Then tell me, if you're so bright, what exactly do you think you can do to me? This is at most a Konjo Commission issue. We'll handle this amongst ourselves. You are reaching rather outside of your bounds, Yashiro Commissioner. If you seek to involve yourself in other clans' affairs, might I be so bold then as to question your motives in doing so? I think you are simply opposed to an alliance between the Konjo Commission and Tinryo Commission. Because the new balance of power in the Tri Commission would be a threat to you personally. So you come here with an elaborate excuse to try and break up this marriage. Hmm. So, that's how you view it. Well, I have to admit, you clearly are far more talented than I at monitoring the power balance within the Tri-Commission. Let me be crystal clear. This wedding is going to happen, 
and nothing is going to change that. The notices have already been sent out. Olivina Zuma City knows about it now. Most of the public weren't aware that Kujo Kamaji and Hiragi Chisato were courting. But you can bet it's all anybody's talking about now. Once the notices go out, that's it. The wedding is a sure thing, even if it hasn't happened just yet. Hmm. I see. It seems like I was wrong. <laughs> so suddenly we see eye to eye. I had expected you to at least be smarter than most.